All right, you guys, good morning, everybody. I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner, and I just got up. I got up at 6 a.m., went and got me a bacon, egg, and cheese croissant from the Jupiter Donut Factory, and now it's Memorial Day weekend. Check this out. Got my patriotic shorts on, and uh, we're going out after a slot snook because I want to do a snook, catch, plane, and cook today. Well, it was kind of handy having our rain gear this morning. Came out here kind of rough, windy, rainy, and we're catching bait. We've only caught one sardine, but we are catching some big pilchards. There they are. Not sure what I got, but I got something on here. Yes, two pilchards. Two big old pilchards. That is beautiful. We're looking for a snook in between 28 and 32 inches. That right there is the perfect bait. Typically, I don't like to bounce them off the deck, though. Before I anchor up, I'm just gonna pitch one bait up there and see what's going on. Oh, there he, oh, dude, he got nailed the second he got down there. There he is. Oh, come on. There he is. Am I double hooked or what the heck? He's just, there. Bait's gotta be double hooked. I mean, he just got destroyed. What happens is the tide is going out and the wind is blowing in and eddies get created in here. So if you're not really familiar with how to anchor, it can be a very frustrating task. There he is. Little one. We're looking for a fish bigger than that. A lot of times I'll turn these fish over, take your circle hook right out of the corner of their jaw, and as fast as you can, get him back in the water. Now, that fish didn't really fray it up too bad, so I'm ready to go again. We want a nice, live, frisky bait. When they're down there swimming around, the, the snook just cannot resist it. So there's a deep little pocket right here. It's sort of shallow. We're sitting in like 15 feet of water, but it drops off into a little pocket right there. No snook lay in it. There he is. Feels like a jack. No, it's a snook. Alright. Another shorty. We're after a slot fish, 28 to 32 inches. This is my fish right here, you guys. This is him. Okay, I'm using really light drag, really light leader. Only 30 pound test fluorocarbon leader. 
Come on, buddy. Ah, he's still a little too small. Come here. Come here. Pretty fish, just a little bit too small. How long do you think he is? Just a little bit bigger, y'all. And Watch literally, your if, yeah, don't get your fingers in there. Your fingers. So I grew up in this town my whole life, born and raised. I was always at that little marina over there called Zeke's Marina right. Dubois. And I would always see the boats over here catching all the fish. And I always said, I want to be on those boats. <laughs> and now this is what I do. And so anytime I see someone that, that isn't familiar with it, I say, I want to help them. So if y'all want to hop on yeah. and fish with me, you're more than welcome to. Yeah, we'll I got. Just hop on. There you go. And where are y'all from? Me and Blue are from. I'm Robert. I'm Ron. Hey, Ron. Sunshine. Sunshine, it's very nice to meet you. All right. They're fine. Okay. Who's up first? Me. 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 That was hard. I said it first. I said it first. I know. Wait, I want to see it. Okay, so we're going to hook the baits just like this. Mm -hmm. And then wrap it. Okay, now <laughs> seriously. Okay, do any. Okay, have any of you caught a fish before like this? No, no. I never. None of you have? No, I'll try. I'll try. And Smith caught a fish at Savannah's house. I'll try. Okay, so this is what we're doing, y'all. Yeah. We're gonna put this bait right back what here. Is the wow. Okay, wow. hold on, hold on. I'm gonna help you get the fish hooked up. This is amazing. Are you yeah. having fun? Yeah. There he is. Okay, chop. Whoa. Okay. Come on, here. Reel him in. Reel him, reel Put this hand up here. Put this hand up there. Good, good, good. Reel him, reel him. You got him. Reel him. You got him. Back. Oh, look at him back there. Back. Oh, my God. It's a big one. Fast. Are you kidding me? Fast, fast, fast. I'm trying to. Hold your, rod, hold your rod up high. Hold your rod up high. Come on. Come on, fishy. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, I see him. Oh. <laughs> Hold the rod! Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's a big one! What kind is this fish? This is a snook! Oh god! Come it. here! Here, here, take this down. I found it! Pinch your tail. 25! 26. Oh. 26 inches. Get in here. Oh. Awesome! Is this your first snook? Yeah! Awesome! Bye, fishy! That's cool. <laughs> Okay, you want to catch one? Yeah, All I right. never caught a snow. No. I did not want to catch one because that was gross. Then <laughs> it ate it. All right, you guys, so those little girls had an absolute blast on the boat. Unfortunately, they only caught one. And I don't know how many snook we caught. We caught a whole bunch of them. None of them were keepers. And I'm just going to give you a heads up. If you're out fishing and you're catching a bunch of fish and none of them are actually legal, do yourself a favor, just go to a fish market. Four dozen of the middle neck, of the little neck clams. Okay. And let me get two dozen of the cherry stones. Two dozen of the cherry stones. All right, you guys, we got seafood. We might not have caught it, but we got it. All right, you guys, you can never be too proud just to say, you know what, I'm going home to spend time with the fam fam. Right? Can y'all believe how big Aria is getting? Love this girl. So. Thank God for Penders. I know not all towns have a really good seafood market, but they that is a pretty cool place to go. These are called middle neck clams. These are called cherry stones. Most people use the cherry stones for like uh, soups and other things. I'm just gonna steam these rascals. Take some up, big old sea salt. Salt that water up good. Then we'll take some Moscato wine. That's real sweet white wine. Put some of that in there. Mm, it's gonna be so good. Take a couple big sprigs of rosemary. Throw that right in there. Get some lemon zest. Big pieces.
and then some lemon juice. Now, don't get me wrong, you can steam clams in just a little bit of salty water and they turn out fine. But hey, if you're going to go through all this, why don't you make them real good? You want your clam to be closed nice and tight. If it's like, if, if it's loose and open, that means the clam is dead and it's not fresh. It'll have a funny odor to it and it just, it, that's not what you're looking for. You want it to be nice and tight like that. That means it's alive. Take your clams, put them in here, and uh, let's start steaming them up. You can also take these big cherry stones, set them right on the grill. If we were out at camp, that's what I would have done. Just put them right on the grill. So good. I want to say thank you to all those families that lost loved, loved ones in the military. You know, America is an amazing place full of incredible freedoms. And these freedoms, they weren't given to us. They were earned by the men and women of the armed services. And a special thanks here on Memorial Day to those who gave all, who paid the ultimate sacrifice. This Memorial Day, I salute you. If you're gonna do two different size clams, put your biggest clams on the bottom. That's, they'll be closer to the heat, and uh, you'll know they're done when they start opening up. Pan's getting hot. Let's add just a little bit of olive oil, about like that, about that much. Take some of this ginger, about that much. Cilantro, about that much. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Take yourself two sticks of sweet cream butter. Put that right in there. Reduce your heat. The oil, the oil will keep your butter from burning and it will become amazing. We'll season it up with a little bit of original Everglades. I wish y'all could smell this right now. Now you cannot have a sauce like this without fresh garlic. It is complete. I would see the cream rising. That cream is from the butter. I like to keep that in there. That's just good old love and goodness. You could put that on just bread and it would be so good. Now, I was out fishing today and Sarah really wanted to come, but she was taking care of the kids. So I called her and I said, well, what do you want? And she said, I want clams. So I got you all the clams. He specifically said, what kind of seafood do you want? So I said clams. And she said clams, so I'm gonna give you a bunch of these. I wanna get, what I wanna find out is which ones are better the smaller ones or the bigger ones? Are they small or big? Those are the smaller ones. That's a bigger one right there. Hey, look at that. Look at that shirt. I love daddy. Look at that hair. You got fat head. Mm. Mm. That's good. been on this ginger kick lately, so a little bit of ginger. Is there ginger in there? Yeah. I literally was going to ask you that the other day. You, you have been having ginger and everything. These clams are over the top good. And if you guys, you guys should definitely check out Dear Mom. Sarah has been making some really cool videos and she just made her first catch, clean, and cook earlier this week. But you're going to have to go check it out to see what it was. She made me dinner that was super cool. And uh, these clams are off the chart. There will be a link to Dear Mom in the description below. That. You know what this one looks like? What? Ravioli. This part, piece right there looks like ravioli. Yeah, so. Doesn't it? That's it. Clam ravioli. 
Sounds good. That's another video coming up soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this today. I had a blast. Take care. God bless. We gone.